as a local kid, do you remember watching that game last year, cheering for the Cowboys? I don't even know if I, I don't even know if I watched it. That's the crazy part. I might have been. Uh, I don't know what I was doing. I was probably training. I was, I was trying to get ready for the pre-draft. I was still deciding if I was going to clear or not. So, uh, but man, I knew it, I knew it was a tough loss, bro. That was a good game. It was. It was a good game. You know, obviously, you know that. You know, it just had some things that hurt us. Some Coach McCarthy, you know, he emphasized throughout the years, just you know that penalty prevention. You know, just staying on top of that stuff. Um, so. You know, it's a new, it's a new chapter for sure. And what does it mean to you to be in this position personally in your first year, just to be able to be a part of a game this important? I mean, it's huge for me. It, you know, ever since that first game, you know, when I knew I'd be out there, uh, starting and you know contributing to the team, like you know, it's, it's always a big deal to me. Every week is a big deal to me. That's that's one thing. You know, I kind of, you know, I appreciate it at this level. It's just like you got to bring that same mindset uh, and preparation to each week. But you know, even more so now. You know, there's definitely, you know, there, there's definitely mo emotions involved. But you know, we got we got to get to that next step, no matter what. You know, I'm I'm here to do whatever I can to make that happen. Question out of left field here, but have you ever been a kicker at any, at any level? I've never, I've never been a kicker at any. I actually, I I kicked at Pee Wee. I was I was a kicker uh, when I was like 10, 11 in Pee Wee. That was it. People underestimate how difficult a job that is. You think? It is difficult. I want I want a lot of you guys. I used to kick with my toe. Uh, you know, I recently found out that you're actually supposed to kick with the side of your foot. So that's something I didn't know as a kid. You know, we didn't really have – our coaches weren't kickers. Like, they were, like, cornerbacks, like former cornerbacks. Some were semi-pro guys. But no, we're kickers, no. Nah. Well, you know where I'm going here. Could you sympathize with Maher and what he was going through the other night? I mean, yeah, it was definitely a tough night. You know, as an athlete at any level, at any position, you know, Sometimes you're gonna you, sometimes you're gonna have a tough day, but you know he can shake back. Uh, one thing I think is important to remember is you know he's one of those big games, bro. In big time situations, he's came up big. You know, uh, Minnesota when he had that super long kick that was you know kind of canceled out and he had to kick it again. Like he, he sunk it twice in a row. That Bengals game, you know, to win the game, you know, that was a long field goal. He sunk it. So just knowing, just knowing, you know, he's he's very capable. You know, he, he knows he's very capable. We know he's very capable. So you know, we just got to shake back this week. You know, this game is a new opportunity, and I think that's just some some important to remember. You know. What did it mean to you that they stayed with you at left tackle? I mean, it was huge for me. You know, it just showed you know how much uh, you know how much trust you know they had in me. Uh, as a player, you know, for the organization, you know, it meant a lot. And so, definitely just trying to pay it forward, you know, in my preparation and how I prepare. Because, you know, it's a, you know, it's an honor, you know. Nothing's guaranteed at this level. Uh, and, uh, you know, for them to trust me with something like that is huge for me. When you become an offensive lineman at a bigger level, this is going back to Tulsa, too. Do you always have that mindset that you never know what position you might have to play because you never know what might happen? At Tulsa, it was a little different. I, I can't even lie to you guys. At Tulsa, like, I, don't, I never really envisioned to move me around. Obviously, you know, I was ready to do whatever to help the team. But, you know, a situation like that just never occurred. Like, you know, we played, played Ironman football. We really had – we had a solid five at Tulsa. We had a solid five. And uh, that's the team we went to the championship with. You know, just luckily, like, no, none of those guys ever got hurt. So, we was able to just, you know, keep that continuity throughout the season. But – you know, I was always, when I got to this level, I knew, you know, versatility would be a big thing for me. So it was something I honed in on and focused on. How can you explain the ability to move to positions, especially if something happens in the I mean, that's just alignment versatility. I mean, all year we've kind of been shuffled around, as y'all seen. Like, so I've gotten reps at different positions. You know, I've gotten uh, reps in certain game time situations uh, where I've had to switch. And so it's, I think it's just been helpful as a player. I mean, it's definitely something. I feel like, you know, early on it's helped me out a lot. And it's, it's a good situation to see. Like, obviously, you know, people going down, that's, you know, you never want that. But just, you know, us being able to move around and shift and still be pro productive and win games is huge. What's the biggest adjustment in the game that you have to do that? Is it making sure your footwork is set or just yeah. remembering what guys do? Uh, I'd, I'd definitely say uh, footwork and technique is a big part because beyond just your assignment on uh, the given play, you got to be honed in the, you know, the technique that goes along with that. Whether it be a reach block, whether it be a pass set, whether it be, you know, a certain drop. Like you just gotta, you gotta be keyed in all of those things. So just, just putting your mind in kind of like that different gear is important for sure.